Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio from uh, Random Stuff <coughs> channel and uh, this is uh, my first video that I wanted to make on my uh, current ROM on the new device that I got which is the LG G3. The reason why I didn't go for the LG G4 is because I didn't find uh, enough um, um, features um, to make me want to switch from the G2 to the G4 and um, also with, with news that there might be some devices out there with fingerprint uh, scanning such as the OnePlus 2 or whatever it's called is going to come out I might wait for those to come out and see what they're like before I buy uh, my next uh, let's say more expensive device the G3 was a uh, very good value for money and um, uh, I paid 250 pounds brand new so I gave my G2 to my son the software version that I've got on here is the, uh, I rooted it straight away obviously, it's very easy to root the G3. The G4 apparently was a little bit more difficult for my, um, uh, my understanding. Um, so, you know, that was another uh, factor that um, if I would have got the G4, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't have been as easy to put custom ROMs on. And uh, I think the G3 is, is a better platform to, uh, to play around with all the ROMs I like to change. Um, at the moment, I've got on here the uh, Cloudy uh, G3 2.3 uh, uh, ROM. And as I speak, I know that 2.5 is, uh, is actually on the website. I don't see um, immediately what the huge differences are between the, uh, the 2.5 and the 2.3. I do notice that the Android vo version is still 5.0, which is a little bit disappointing because I thought perhaps um, it would have had 5.1 on there or maybe 5.02. Um, uh, the device does sometimes um, get a little bit warm uh, and I was warned this by other users that, uh, that have it, the device. Um, I've got all my favorite um, applications and everything's running very smoothly. The, the Quadrant and the and Tutu results uh, are not the, um, the best uh, indicators uh, to, to, to show how good and, and, uh, and, and uh, fast and uh, uh, speedy the devices for some reason I never get really great scores perhaps it's because I've got so many applications uh, as you can see uh, the list of applications here look how many pages I've got each page has five by six so you got 30 applications per page and I've got about almost 10 pages there it's not 10 maybe it's nine but it's almost 300 applications it's ridiculous and um, I just you know can't get rid of uh, the applications as you know the device can handle them if I go into my titanium backup which is one of my favorite applications as you may know uh, as you can see I've, uh, I've, I've purchased uh, a high quality SD card uh, 64 gig one and um, as you see I've got over 40 gig left of external SD card for all the videos and pictures that I want to take so I've got plenty there of uh, space and the internal uh, I still got uh, just over 10 uh, just just about 10 considering that on the LG G2 I was always um, borderline on 1 to 2 gig of space left and that was with 32 um, yeah so if I look at the applications that I've got here which I've backed them all up because uh, as soon as I finish making this video I'm going to uh, install 2.5 from Cloudy um, figure you know there are some improvements in the change log which you can see in the link below uh, and so I will definitely upgrade to that that's uh, that goes without saying I'm, I'll, I'll make a backup of this and uh, I'll stick it on a external USB drive and with OTG I can get it on here anytime that I want um, as you can see restore all apps 277 and um, backup backup new um, user apps and new newer versions there's only a few that have been updated uh, since I did uh, a full titanium backup of every single application. I also uh, back up to, to the cloud. As you can see, is it here? Not this one. Yeah, uh, I haven't actually switched it on, but it does, uh, it does do that quite nicely. Um, yeah, so the device is really snappy. Let's, um, there's, there's nothing really to say. The look is the usual look that you all know. You know, I love, I love, I love that kind of. Um, stock uh, feel um, to the device although I will try slim and some of the other uh, cyanogen mod uh, ROMs that are out there on 5.1.1 uh, on this I've still got my exposed which um, 
I'll just launch it very quickly. Um, the modules that I've got in there at the moment are these. Um, some experimental features from Greenify, but I haven't switched it on yet. Uh, still thinking about it. Root Cloak uh, works pretty well. Uh, it allows me to, to uh, for, for example, um, access my uh, banking uh, details and account, um, even though my device is rooted. And some banks, like my the bank that I go to, uh, doesn't doesn't let you uh, access your your account details if you're rooted. Um, so that, all that works pretty well. No, there's no faults, no problems. Everything works. Camera, recording, everything. Uh, let's let's um, quickly launch the um, at least the quadrant because that's a quick one that we can do. And I appreciate that doing the quadrant. Um, uh, whilst recording, it will take some of the resources, maybe to, maybe slightly, but enough to the point that um, uh, the results perhaps could have been slightly um, higher number. Let's see what we get with this spinning. It's the usual frames per second. That's uh, 55 I saw there, which is quite high. Um, 57 there frames per second. That's a pretty good score on that. Don't normally see as high as 57 on that, I believe. On this one here, will it go higher? 56, 59, yeah, 59. Uh, will it go to over 60 frames per second? No, it didn't. Uh, this is the last uh, the helix uh, DNA hit. No, it's not DNA, it's some kind of a helix. Okay, so you want to proceed? Yes, we do. Let's have a look at the crappy results. Your device, 7,000, just about 7,000. I think that's pretty bad, isn't it? If I remember correctly, um, I can't remember what scores I used to get on the LG G2. But 7,000—that doesn't sound very good. Maybe it's good, but I seem to recall maybe something like 20,000, or maybe I'm confusing it with the, the 30 plus and the 40,000s that you used to get, that you do get with um, Antutu on LG G2. So this result here. Um, I don't think it's representative of the, the speed of the device. Uh, I did it just to show you, but the device is really quick. Um, everything works. Uh, swipes down, swipes up. Everything's working really nice. I'm very pleased with that. So I've used it now for about a week and a bit, nearly two weeks, uh, maybe longer and it's, it's been all right I've, i haven't had any forced crashes that i can recall the only thing that i can say as mentioned at the beginning of this video is that the um the button at the back gets a little bit warm sometimes it tends to overheat don't know why it does that but um i know that i can go into my settings here and i can just do kill from there or clear all um, having the exposed uh, uh framework I've uh, added some modules that allow me to to make a lot of the tweaks. Like for example, you can see at the top the clock is in the middle. Um, if I go on the internet, you'll see the data, um, which is uh, you know the upload and download speeds. So that's about it. Thanks uh, for watching, everyone. I hope this has helped uh, anyone who's thinking of um, using uh, Cloudy's uh, G3 2.3, which now you you've got 2.5 to try. Um, and I will make a video of that if I think there's anything different or better than this one to uh, to talk about. But definitely 2.3 has been absolutely fine. The only reason I'm going to 2.5 is because it's there and Cloudy normally does you know very good ROMs without uh, any problems. The the only thing that I would say is, is that um, the temptation to go into a 5.1.1 ROM uh, are quite high. So I will probably try the Cloudy 2.5 for about two, three days, and then I'll probably just switch over to uh, something like a, a, a Slim ROM or whatever they, you know, whatever they have on the forum, see below for the link for where the ROMs are. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Take care. Bye.